It's the American story. Charting your own path. Forging new ways forward. Not because it's the easy way, but because it's the right way. And for those with dedication, character, faith, and conviction, sometimes that lonely path paves the way forward for millions. Ron Paul, 22 years in Congress, he's never voted for a tax increase, never voted for a debt ceiling increase, never wavered, never backed down. The role of government ought to be for the protection of liberty, not for the intrusion in our private lives, not for the intrusion in economic affairs. You can't keep borrowing from China. You can't keep printing the money. We have to cut some spending. I believe in limited government. I believe in individual liberty. We've spent too much. We tax too much. We borrow too much. It's bankrupting this country. I knew I did not want to be a politician all my life. Matter of fact, uh, I was surprised I ever won because this message I thought would not uh, go well with the people because I'm not making wild promises. Of course, my wife warned me this was a dangerous project because she was. She said you could end up getting elected. And he said, No, no, I'm not going to be elected. He said you have to be like Santa Claus. You have to give them something. He says I don't want to give them something or bring home the bacon. He said I want to give them their freedom. It's been a consistent theme since his very first election that uh, government's grown too large, and as government grows larger, your freedoms grow smaller. And he's fought this through the years. When I first got to the House, I, I thought Ron Paul was nuts. Uh, he was out there uh, talking about the Federal Reserve, the monetary system, but more and more I found myself voting with him. He's been talking about these things since the early 1970s, and he hasn't wavered, he hasn't buckled, even when he's had to stand alone. I've always put politicians into two categories. They're either here to make a point or they're here to make a difference. Ron Paul is the only one I know who made a difference by making a point. We need lower taxes, less regulations, and we need to free up the market. He's been an absolute fiscal hawk, one of the most fiscally conservative members in the history of the Congress. I can guarantee you we wouldn't have a $16 trillion debt if we had 435 Ron Pauls in Congress. The more I think about him over the years, the more inspiring it is uh, of what he's done. Uh, not being afraid of anything, but willing to stand for what he thought was right. Ron Paul was Tea Party before there was a Tea Party. If you want honesty and integrity, look to Ron Paul. And that's based on his faith and based on his belief in the Constitution. He's willing to do things that uh, other people aren't willing to do because his convictions are so deep. As long as we live beyond our means, we are destined to live beneath our means. Well, one of the extraordinary things about my father is that, you know, the lobbyists don't even come by his office. They don't even bother to come by because they know he can't be bought. And that passion is born of a deep and abiding conviction that these are correct principles. He stands for freedom. He stands for liberty. He stands for the traditional American values that made this country great. The longer we go and the deeper in debt we get, the more apparent it is that Ron Paul was right all those years. Whether people want to admit it or not, Ron Paul changed the conversation. <laughs>